A new podcast from WNET and PRX aims to teach kids about culture through food. So today we're here at Bonnie's to meet up with the chef to learn more. Chef, I don't know if you know this, this is one of my favorite Cantonese restaurants in New York City. But, you know, we got some things to talk about. So you're part of the Plate Show. Can you tell me what the Plate Show is? Yeah, so the Plate Show is um, eight series comedy podcasts geared towards young children and their families to kind of teach and allow them to learn more about culture and culture through food specifically. Listen to me, Spoonie, and my BFF, Tong's here, on a tasty new family podcast with games, recipes, jokes, and real kids and chefs. So my episode specifically is about Lunar New Year oh, and okay. my family's traditions and all their like goofy little funny superstitions as well. I talk about Fatko, which is like a prosperity cupcake. Oh. basically that my, my mom makes every single year. And the idea behind that is also another superstition. Basically, if it, if it blossoms and it blooms, then you're gonna have a prosperous new year. Now, why did you wanna be involved in the show? Um, I think because now I'm also a father. I have a, I have a son now, and I think so it's fun to teach him and show him all these cultures and these traditions that my family had and be able to pass those down. What are some of the other cultures that we're gonna hear about in this show? There's Nigerian chefs, there's Jewish chefs. Um, a lot of them are good friends of mine as well. Wow. They all talk about their backgrounds and their heritage and kind of what they do during specific holidays. One great thing about New York is the abundance of takeout. Are there any dishes that you make either here or just at home that really embody that love of multiculturalism? The steamed fish will always be like my number one favorite and go-to. Does so your son eat it? He does. Oh, start him <laughs> young. That smells fantastic. <laughs> so it's just ginger and... Right it's now it's just the fish and the ginger. What kind of fish is that? This is a sea bass. We just steam the fish with some slices of ginger for about 12, 13 minutes until it's fully cooked. We take it out. We season it with some seasoned soy sauce, some ginger and some scallions, and we hit it with some hot oil to kind of let it sizzle and gently cook those herbs on top. One of the things about ginger is that it takes the fishiness out of the fish. So anytime you're steaming a fish, this is the best way to make it taste really good mm -hmm. and really clean, right? Yeah, which is why I like to stuff it with the ginger as well while we steam it. What does your mom think of your version of her dish? It's her recipe, she better like it. <laughs> she better like it. Mom, you better like the steamed fish. Also, I think that I did a really good job garnishing it. Phenomenal job. Thank you. Thank Gorgeous. Mm. Tastes like home. It tastes like home. So I guess one of the other things about this show is that it's going to teach kids about different kinds of food that they may not have come in contact with and encourage them to kind of think outside the bounds of what they might eat, right? Like, I don't know that that many kids would attempt a whole fish. It's a great opportunity to kind of introduce a lot of these new things to, to people. So Calvin, where can people find the podcast? Um, you can find it on any major podcast platform. Fantastic! Well, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Thank you for making me this delicious meal.